Hey guys, it's me, Saran, back with another video. We are on our second to last day of Hidden Figures, and I just want to thank all of you that have been watching and commenting and sharing and letting me know how much you enjoy um, these videos. I know daily videos are a lot, so thank you to everyone that has been uh, rocking with me for this Black History Month. Today's uh, hidden figure is Marie Maynard Daly, who was born April 16th, 1921, and died October 28th, 2003 who was the first African-American woman to receive a doctoral degree, earning it from Columbia University in 1947 for chemistry. Prior to that, she attended Queens College in Flushing, New York, where she graduated magna cum laude with a Bachelor of Science degree in chemistry. After receiving her PhD, she held an instructor position at Howard University for two years and began research on the composition and metabolism of components in the cell nucleus. Later in her career, Daly developed programs to increase the number of minorities in medical schools and graduate science programs. In 1988, she established a scholarship fund at Queens College for African Americans in commemoration of her father. Marie was born and raised in Corona, Queens. She often visited her maternal grandparents in Washington, D.C., where she was able to read about scientists and their achievements in her grandfather's extensive library. She was especially impressed by Paul de Cruyff's The Microbe Hunters, a work which partially influenced her decision to become a scientist. Daly's interest in science was also influenced by her father, who had attended Cornell University with intentions of becoming a chemist, but had had been unable to complete his education due to a lack of funds. His daughter continued her father's legacy by majoring in chemistry. After Daly graduated from Hunter College High School, a laboratory high school for girls run by Hunter College facility, she enrolled in Queens College in Flushing, New York. She lived at home to save money and graduated from Queens College with her bachelor's degree in chemistry in 1942. Upon graduation, she was named a Queens College Scholar, an honor that is given to the top 2.5% of the graduating class. Labor shortages and the need for scientists to support the war effort enabled Daly to garner fellowships to study at New York University and Columbia University for her master's and PhD degrees, respectively. Daly worked as a laboratory assistant at Queens College while studying at New York University excuse me, for her master's degree in chemistry, which she completed in 1943. She then became a chemistry tutor at Queens College and enrolled in the doctoral program at Columbia, where she was supervised by Dr. Mary L. Cadwell. Cadwell, who had a doctorate in nutrition, helped Daly discover how chemicals produced in the body contribute to food digestion. Daly completed a thesis entitled A Study of the Products Formed by the Action of Pancre Pancreatic Amylase, if I'm pronouncing that right, on cornstarch, to earn her PhD in chemistry in 1947. This made her the first African-American woman to earn a doctorate degree in the U.S. Daly worked as a physical science instructor at Howard University from 1947 to 1948, while simultaneously conducting research under the direction of Herman Branson. After being awarded an American Cancer Society grant to support her postdoctoral research, she joined Dr. A. E. Mirsky at the Rockefeller Rockefeller Institute where they studied the cell nucleus. While at the Rockefeller Institute, Daly was able to measure how protein metabolism changed under feeding and fasting conditions in mice. Daly then began working in the College of Physicians and Surgeons at Columbia University in 1955. She studied the effects that aging, hypertension, and atherosclerosis had on the metabolism of the arterial wall, which is your, your, heart, your heart wall. She had continued this work as an assistant professor of biochemistry and of medicine at the Albert Einstein College of Medicine at Yeshiva University, where she moved in 1960. She enjoyed teaching medical students and was dedicated to increasing the number of minority students enrolled in medical schools. In 1971, she was promoted to associate professor. Daly also served as an investigator for the American Heart Association. She was especially interested in how hypertension affects the circulatory system. System. While teaching at the Albert Einstein College of Medicine, she continued research on arteries and also the effects of cigarette smoke on the lungs. She was designated as a career scientist by the Health Research Council of the City of New York, and she retired in 1986 from the 
excuse me, from the Albert Einstein College of Medicine, and in 1988 established a scholarship for African American chemistry and physics majors at Queens College in memory of her father. In 1999, she was recognized by the National Technical Association as one of the top 50 women in science, engineering, and technology. On February 26, 2016, the new elementary school PS360Q in Queens was named the Dr. Marie M. Daly Academy of Excellence in honor of the Queen's resident. While Daly is known for being the first African-American woman to earn a PhD, by the time she retired, she had also made important scientific contributions to the study of cardiovascular disease, the study of metabolism, and the effects of smoking, all of which remain viable and important areas of research today. Daly died in New York City on October 28, 2003. And the quote that I want to read you guys is, courage is like, it's a habitus, a habit, a virtue. You get it by courageous acts. It's like you learn to swim by swimming. You learn courage by couraging. Dr. Marie M. Daly, a hidden figure. Last day of hidden figures tomorrow. So see you guys tomorrow. Peace.